Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Seth and today I'm bringing you guys part 8 of how to make a Discord bot. In this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how we can make custom server prefixes. So if a server doesn't like the prefix your bot has by default, it can go ahead and then change it to whatever they want. Before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that if you are having any issues with your Discord bot and you need help, go ahead and join my Discord server. It's down in the description down below. And if you find this bot coding channel, it's just down a little bit. And then go ahead and ping this guy right here. That's me. It, I will come help you with whatever you need as best as I can. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, intro time. Check this So for this video, we're going to need to make two different files, a .json and a .js. So let's go ahead and start by right clicking down here, new file and name prefixes.json. In here, we're going to add our curly brackets, save the file and just get rid of that for now. Next, let's click commands, new file and call it prefix.js. Head on over to our ping command, copy the contents over to our new file change the name to prefix, delete these two lines, and let's add a couple packages and files. Moving on, now we need to identify our prefixes file. So we're going to make that equal to json.parse. And we're going to grab the fs.read file sync. And we want prefixes.json. Next, let's go ahead and check if prefixes message.guild.id. We're going to check if that exists. If it does not, we're going to go ahead and create a temporary um, variable in that file. And the reason it's going to be temporary is because we don't need to save it if we're just grabbing our default prefix. So we're just going to simply set it to bot config dot prefix. This eliminates the need for a um, if statement, another if statement. And then down here, we're just going to simply do let prefix equal prefixes message dot guild dot ID. Dot prefix. So this is how we will grab our prefix from now on. So we're going to go ahead and actually copy this over to our index file. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll see where we set our prefix last time. We're simply going to remove that and paste in what we just copied. So now we can head on back to our prefix.js and finish this file up. So now we need to make it that users that don't run the server can't change the custom prefix if they have one. So if message.member.has permission, and we're going to check for the permission manage guild. If they do not have that permission, we're going to return message.reply. So now we need to check for args0. If arg0 does not exist, we're simply going to return message.reply. 
and we're going to say uh, please enter a prefix. And if they did enter a prefix, then we're going to do prefixes message.guild.id and it's going to equal prefix args zero. And then now we can go ahead and save it. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy over from a different file. So type this in here, make sure you have your prefixes.json file and then we need to last but not least create an embed we're gonna grab from our colors file that we added at the top of our uh, prefix file here colors dot green I'm gonna put and then we can set a title And that's all there is to it. We just gotta go ahead and send so message.channel.send and we're gonna send um, embed. So now our custom prefixes should be all done. So let's go ahead and, and open our terminal and node dot to our run our bot. And then if we go ahead and open our Discord, we can try balance and you'll see our normal prefix works and then if we want to change it we use the prefix command and input our new prefix what happened we got an error arg is not defined where did I put arg here we go on this line I forgot an s so make sure you don't do that uh, let's go ahead and rerun our bot head on over to discord and now if we try it this time prefix set to exclamation marks now if we try and do balance it'll work if we try and use our old prefix it will not work so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button subscribe for future bot tutorial videos and outro time